have to catch this moment because it looks so space age, like you know, some weird alien robot locked in an isolation bottom, chamber. Bottom light. Maybe well, the bottom light adds to it. Does it? it gives it a cool look. <laughs> well, we got. I think we have everything in there that we'll need to put in the nano powder. You got a nano powder in there? I do. Just one of those. Okay. What else we got in there? Um, a funnel, a spoon, a couple picks, um, scalpel to open that nano nickel, um, a wrench and Allen wrench to take off the top small flange. Got a new we washer, a new copper gasket. Yeah, got that in the back. Um, I have a little a long wire to get the current powder and ceramic felt out of there. Okay. Then we have the new ceramic. Do you have something to put here. the old powder into? Um, do we want a mason jar with a screw top? Yeah, that'll probably. work. Otherwise, I just had a little glass. Petri dish? Petri dish. Micro powder, that's okay. The little, the little jar is probably that's better. The, yeah, we've got a bunch of those. Yeah, one of them. Mm, might have to grab a different lid. Why don't you narrate a little bit? Okay. Um, well, I'm just doing the last nut on the uh, top flange here. Put the pressure sensor hooked on to it. That comes right off, and we can just kind of put that aside. We'll, we'll replace the copper gasket at the end. But now we have to get out all the nickel powder and the ceramic stuff. So I made this little. Yeah. Just a piece mm, of wire. Corkscrew, yeah. It's actually a spring wire, so that it would hold this shape. I'm digging around in there. So, I can put that down in there. And after we get the ceramic fluff out of the way. Yeah. Hopefully, the nickel will then just come out. Unless it's sintered or something. That's kind of the big question. Yeah, I'm curious to see what it looks like. Well, the ceramics completely filled with nickel. Ah. If you go over on this side, you might be able to see it better. It's an important finding. Yeah, so. So it looks like with many of the well, that changes the way it behaves. Yeah. Wonder how much actually got in there. We'll try to dump it in and see if if any comes out. into there. Yeah. yeah, it felt centered. It's like I was actually drilling into it. But it, so it got a little crusty, but not not too bad. Not a solid I, I, lump anyway. Yeah, it's at least it 
just about got all the nickel out now. The stuff at the very bottom seems to have been stuck. It's entered down. I don't know if you can hear that in the video. It makes a little scratching sound as it goes around. And then more pours right out. There it is. Does it look like five grams? It's fluffed up because of the ceramic, but yeah. Oh, here, comparison. Uh, if you can see how much is in there, I can't even. It's filled. It's filled to about there. That level. So that's yeah, that's about five grams. All right. Now we're gonna suit up to put in the nano powder. Don't get the nano powder, huh? Driver handle pick thing there, yeah. That's good. I figured the stuff would flow a little easier. It's like I'm not even touching anything. I can't feel it, like any resistance. It's crazy. Hmm. Five of these guys, these little ceramic felt plugs. Oh, I grab them. Okay. These have been baked out. They're baked out for about two hours. Or okay. and what I did was I just pushed it, pushed them down. As far as they would go, uh, with a little force. So that's 
basically until the thermal well. Or the powder level, whichever is higher. It's about right there. All right. Okay. You make it look so easy. Yeah, it's not. And wiping off stuff. Uh -huh. 